ancient Greece, Zeus, father of the gods, struck a doctor dead with a thunderbolt from the heavens because he feared his medical skills rivaled his own powers over life and death. The doctor was Asclepius and is best remembered for his unusual animal namesake, the Aesculapian snake. The snake has become a surprising symbol for medicine. Escalapian snakes emerge from hibernation and shed their skins, and it's because of this people believe they could heal themselves and come back from the dead. In ancient Greece, the doctor and the snake became a cult with holy buildings for the sick called Asclepians. People would enter into a deep, dreaming sleep, and in their sleep, they would dream of the treatment they needed for their disease. There are accounts in Greek plays of what it was like to sleep in an Asclepian with the snakes crawling around. Whenever you see a statue of Asclepius, he's always carrying a staff, and that staff with the snake has become a symbol of medical practice. A long way from the warmth of the Mediterranean, these reptiles have made two surprising new homes in Snowdonia National Park in Wales and right here by Regent's Park in central London. These non-venomous snakes were first recorded in the area in 1986. Local ecologist Will Atkins has been monitoring the population for the past eight years. He's brought along his snake diary and some very special footage. So this and is the male. Is, yeah. And he's coiling around the female. Yeah. And you can see his tongue going in and out quite often because I think she's releasing some pheromones. You can see as he moves along that he's actually got this real scar all the way down his back, he had a nasty encounter with a strimmer, and I could actually see his backbone sticking out. And as the months went by, the skin knitted itself back again, kind of brings home the amazing healing properties Absolutely. of Escalapian snakes, like yeah. the god Escalapius himself. But how did these snakes make it to central London? These were probably unwanted pets, which were illegally and unethically dumped on the banks of the canal. Some of them have been hatchlings, so we know that they're breeding. And this is the only species of non-native snake in the UK that has been proven to breed in the wild. And like all reptiles, if it gets too hot, they actually go undercover, and you'll have less chance of seeing them. Having said that, even in ideal weather conditions, you've probably not got a lot of chance of seeing one. Although Will's not hopeful, the sun is shining and the temperature is around 22 degrees. So we set off snake hunting. Escalapians are the only snakes in the UK that are arboreal, so our search covers the trees too. Although with their main food source in plentiful supply on the ground, we're scanning all the bushes as well. Finally, we spot one. OK, oh, look, 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 you can see the eye. Got the head. There is actually an Escalapian snake right really here. really important. Glistening in the sunshine, it looks wet. The head's kind of tucked away, but I would yeah. I would suggest it's well over a metre. You told me that I should look for something that looks a bit like a Twix wrapper because it's got that same sort of browny gold coloration yeah. and a yeah. slightly slightly shiny appearance, and that looks exactly like a Twix wrapper. There it, it is. It's just relying on its kind of camouflage and staying still, yeah. so all the people going by won't see the snake. No it is moving now, isn't it? And you can yeah, see. Yeah, looks like it's got wind. Got wind of us. Yeah. <gasps> <laughs> a tantalising glimpse, but we saw the snake and we've seen the length of the snake and the beauty of the snake and the colour of the snake and absolutely incredible. Before we leave, Will's brought a rescue one for us to take a closer look at. Being non-native species, the law says that you're not allowed to pick something up from the wild that is a non-native species and then release it again. So we're very lucky that we've got a captive snake, so obviously you can see one close yeah. up. This one's about half grown. I mean, she's about three years old. Um, and by the time she gets fully grown, she'll have much less yellow around the head. We've cheerfully accepted other non-native species, such as the mandarin duck, the monk jack deer, and the little owl, when there are big questions about their impact on the environment. But if research indeed shows that the Escalapian snake is doing little more than keeping down the local rat population, perhaps then it will be left to live in peace. <laughs>